I just wanted to talk real quick about the last two weeks and the next two weeks. So the last two weeks, topic number one, we cannot talk about this enough. In fact, you've got to tell everybody, everybody this, the Emergency Act was ruled unconstitutional. You cannot repeat that enough. They broke the law. Now, all their propaganda, all the lies, all the deceit that they said even in the House of Parliament that they were spreading around on their propaganda machine, it was all a lie. Politicians stood up in Parliament. They said arson. They said theft. They said stores broken into. Nazi flags. This, that. All a lie. Now, some of them also said that in public. So, they'll have to worry about that in the years to come and months to come. Even the Coots, we had some movement with the Coots brothers, uh, with the Coots boys. That has turned out to be a lie as well. That turned out to be a lie as well. The lies are crumbling. The parliament is crumbling. The house of cards are falling. Now, if you also notice over the last two weeks, you've noticed a lot of hissy fits. I guess you were having the hissy fits. The liberals are having the hissy fits. They're on X, they're on their propaganda machine. They're yelling, they're screaming. They're behaving like children. That means we've got to them. Their lies are falling apart. They know their lies are falling apart. They actually think, if you listen to their words, they actually think they own us. And you are supposed to worship us. You are supposed to think like us. You are supposed to follow us. You are supposed to do what we want. The whole concept of responsible government is gone. It is gone. They don't realize they work for us. The buildings that they're in are our buildings. The cars that they get driven around are our cars. All the perks are paid by us. They work for us. And all that concept is gone. It's gone. And they're having hissy fits. Justin had a big hissy fit yesterday because CTV canceled, uh, well, unfortunately, they're laying off 5,800 people. But that means their morning news are gone and the afternoon is gone. And Justin talks about misinformation or misinf oh, and misinformation and disinformation. What is that? Well, that's this crap that they spew. And it looks like everyone else is seeing it. That's why they're canceling it. And he's having a hissy fit. They're having a hissy fit. So let's move on to the next two weeks. Like I vote, our victory, you've got to understand, the way we win this, I've always said we're in, we're in warfare now. It's an asymmetrical warfare. It's, it's a battle of minds, it's a battle of will, and it's a battle of propaganda. But it's not going to be won by being violent. It's not going to be run by any sort of abuse or anything like that. It's going to be won on the chessboard. But that doesn't mean that we keep doing what we're normally doing. So over the next two weeks, there's a lot of events. We've got to commemorate what happened. Now, on Valentine's Day is when they enacted the Emergency Act. And it was on the 17th in which our country did a 360. And what I mean by that is leading up to it, Canada was well known for our peacekeeping efforts. Canada was well known for our human rights efforts. Canada was well known as being a beacon of peace. But we made a turn in which history always remembers. When a country turns and they turn to tyranny or they turn to some sort of autocratic rule, it always begins with one thing. It always begins with the government weaponizing the police, weaponizing the authorities and beating his own people. And that's what happened two years ago. And all of these people have to remember that. We have to remember that. That he destroyed, he wiped out our history like this. And it was all for lies. It was all for lies and it was all for their gain. 
They are a criminal empire, the Liberals. Another lie. Justin turned out to have invited the Nazi. But this man is such a sociopath that he has in one of his underlings, Karina Gold, stand up like a raving lunatic. And then she blames another guy, the speaker, and throws him under the bus. This is the type of sociopath that is running this country. And he does a bare face. He does a bare face. He says, oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. He's a liar and he's a sociopath. They all are. And they're all kindergartens. Now, of course, we all have a first reaction to go in, pull them out. But like I said, this game is going to be won on the chessboard. More theft, we find out. More billions missing. The Arrive Can app, quite simple. You've got to talk to all these people. So the Arrive Can app, I've been saying this for the last month. What they did on the Arrive Can app is liberals, liberal either liberal companies that they own, their donors, they cut an invoice to the government of Canada, which is us, which is our money, for work that they did, that they did on the Arrive Can app. And then our recruitment writes them a check and says, here you go. But they didn't do any work. They didn't do any work at all. It was pure theft. It was pure theft. So this is the regime, and it is a regime. This is the regime that we're under. And we also found out that Jagmeet Singh says, you know, this man here, now keep in mind on the last election, if you just go by popular vote, Polyev had the vo most popular vote, most votes, then Trudeau, and then Jagmeet Singh. So Jagmeet Singh says last week, and he goes, he'll never work with Polyev, but he'll work with the corrupted liberals to get what he wants. This is the guy that had finished third and another sociopath. Finishing third seems to think that he can control us. These are the megalomaniacs that we have. It's slowly reaching them. It's up to us to keep reaching them, letting them know that and break this dam. And it'll be broken by themselves They'll bring their own, com they'll, they'll, unfortunately it's going to be rough, but they'll bring this house of cards down. Now all the events for the next two weeks, we've got lots of events. Unfortunately, you know, I've seen some things, you know, Freedom Fighters calling up Freedom Fighters. Why aren't you going here? Why are you supposed to go here? You're supposed to go there. We're all brothers and sisters. Just keep all these things in your mind. Just remember that, of this battle. But we now, we got to change to be real more activists now. We gotta keep saying what I just said, we just gotta keep telling the public over and over and over again. I mean, what's happening in the schools is ridiculous. This. They want, they're physically trying to change the way we think to them. Whether, and it's all lies, it's all lies. So we really gotta keep doing the outreach. Now, if you're, if you're going to Ottawa, I know the guys up in Ottawa have a big day planned on Saturday. It's gonna be events and speeches. So let's be there. Now I know some are planning on going earlier to, to keep that date open, which is good, which is good. But when you go there, you gotta think differently now. You gotta think more like an activist when you're there. You know, let's all be uniformed in our approach. Let's remember, first thing we're gonna remember, we're gonna be peaceful. We're gonna be peaceful. We also have to remember that Ottawa is probably the most, their police force, uh, the, the ticket dunes, if you want to call them that, they've allowed themselves to become weapons of a corrupt state. They've allowed themselves to become Gestapos. So you got to remember that when we're going there. We're going to go there peacefully. We're going to be in uniform, but we're going to go there to work. And that means we're going to let everyone know of this corruption. We're going to let everyone know of this criminal regime that is running this country. And it is. It's nothing more than regime. It's nothing more than a mafia. That is exactly what's happening. They're stealing from us. They're robbing from us. They're lying from us. Now, they are the actual insurgents. We aren't the insurgents. They are the ones dispelling misinformation and disinformation. 
And we have to let them know that, but we're gonna let them know that peacefully. You have a chance to engage politicians. And we're gonna let them know, these politicians, that that house isn't on their land. That house doesn't belong to them. All those rides, all those limos, all of that doesn't belong to them, it belongs to us and they work for us. And they're supposed to work for us. They don't work for the UN. They don't work for the World Economic Forum. They don't work for corporations. They work for us. And hopefully there will be press and we have to let the press know that. But we have to be, they're behaving like children. They're behaving like kindergarten children. We're going to go there, we're going to be and display ourselves as adults. And those get involved in the process. There's going to be some get into Parliament, go into Parliament, we're going to go into, watch what happens in there. It's lunacy. It's like a kindergarten class. But go in there with class, watch them eye to eye, and learn. And let them see that, you know, we've had enough now. We've had enough. We've had enough. And the more people we reach out, they feel that they'll, they feel the whole thing crumbling. And when it crumbles, now we ask for the changes that need to be made. This country, Justin has exploited every loophole and every hole that we have in the Constitution. The Bill of Rights, if you want to call that whatever paper that is, he's exploited everything. He's exploited the justice system. He's made two, ju two forms of justice in this country, justice for them and justice for us. It has to change. And whoever goes in next has to know that we need constitutional change. We've got to get rid of that Senate. We've got to get electable Senate. We've got to get equal representation across the country. We've got to involve our Indigenous brothers. We've got to get rid of that Indian Act. And it's time that we start looking at getting rid of that crown. We don't need the crown anymore. They don't own us. They don't own us. We own ourselves. We own our own future. We are all free. We are all free from the Creator. We all have amiable rights. And it's time that they hear that. And they hear that loud. And they hear that precise. And we're going to be uniformed. We're going to go in. We're going to do some work. We're not going to break any laws. But we're going to be sentinels. We're going to be strong. We're going to hold that land that belongs to us. We're going to walk. It's no party time. We're going to be strong. And we're going to prove that point. We're going to prove that point to this country. So with that, everyone, freedom.